Hi, I'm Amy McGuffin, CEO of Kittitas County Chamber of Commerce, and we are hitting the road to see one of our local chamber members. Thank you for joining us. We are here on the Chamber on the Road at the Clymer Museum and Gallery. My name is Amy McGuffin. I'm the CEO of Kittitas County Chamber of Commerce and I'm joined by Elise Warren. Welcome Elise. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and then go into a little bit of history for those that don't know much about the Clymer Museum. So I uh, grew up in Seattle and I married the military and traveled all over the country. I've actually seen 49 of the 50 states and I have a degree in biology and a history minor. And I came to the climber through uh, working with 501c3s in an administrative capacity, and I'm very excited to be here. I enjoy it very much. Um, the history of the climber museum, this began as a tribute to John Clymer, who was a Ellensburg native, as well as his wife, Doris Clymer, Doris Snetley as she was first known. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, or they wanted to start this here. There was some, um, some groundswell for getting that to happen. Doris actually contributed a lot of the artifacts and things that we have, mm -hmm. and some of the paintings that we have. Um, and it came together. Um, it's been open since 1991. And um, right now we have a history section, a museum section. We have an art gallery section and we have a smaller McGiffin room art gallery section and of course the good shop. Wonderful. So how would you uh, describe John Clymer's art? Clymer has done a lot of different things because he began at a young age in the 30s and the style of the 30s of course changed very significantly from the 50s the 60s into the 80s. He died in 1989. So he did um, very abstract things particularly early in his career or a little bit more um, Art Deco style. And then he came into doing like these really detailed history pieces that Doris would do a lot of research on and he would do a lot of research on. All the clothing is correct, all the military uniforms are correct, all the weapons are correct, and you know, all those kinds of things. And he would, and he would do these very detailed, um, clear paintings. Wonderful. So not only are you having a museum effect, but you mentioned the gallery. And so tell us a little bit of how you um, hang the art for that gallery. Are there local artists currently, or do you also take out of the area artists? Uh, art? We, um, we have, currently we have the Northwest Heritage Artists. They are local artists. They are in our McGiffin Gallery. They have a lot of um, beautiful landscapes and Western art that they're working on. Uh, it's painting, we're calling it painting in isolation. Some of it is, you know, people inside of people's homes and cats and various things, just whatever they could paint during the isolation is, is in there. And then the main gallery, we have someone currently, Chuck Fulcher, who's out of Montana. So he, um, I went out to Montana to pick up his work. He'll come out here to pick it up and take it home. Um, and he, whatever we take, we usually take landscape work, we take, you know, Western art themes, we take uh, Native American themes and work. Um, so it just, it just depends, but generally we try to stick to things that Clymer was most interested in. Mm -hmm. And since he did uh, a whole slew of Saturday evening post covers, for instance, and plus all the Native American work that he did, plus, you know, all the, the mountain men and the buffalo hunters <laughs> and all this, it, we have a wide variety of things we can choose from. And we tend to choose from the Western half of the United States. Wonderful. So you talk about the isolation paintings that are currently in your gallery. Um, let's pivot to COVID. Um, I know it's been uh, longer than most of us anticipated with the COVID-19, but how has the climber uh, pivoted what they're able to um, open to the public? And tell us what that looks like. Well, originally the museum was closed and the store was open, but we are now entirely open. Um, we can have up to 10 people in the room right now, or uh, there, there's a recent bill allowing us to um, have half of our capacity mm -hmm. in, the, in this area only. Um, and we've done things like we have a, a plexiglass shield at the register, we have gloves, we have masks, we have hand sanitizer out, we have things on the floor telling people to be six feet apart or more. 
Um, so all those things, all that sort of standard stuff that stores are doing mm -hmm. to protect the, the clients who come in and also, of course, to protect my employees who need to work here day in and day out. I think it's great to acknowledge everybody's awareness of what's happening and like we are we're six feet apart but we have our masks and so you know just the realization of awareness and understanding is always a plus and you mentioned that you have your gift shop so tell us a little bit about your gift shop because that is a retail shop so if people are looking for pieces there um, they can come and shop and what are your hours for that? Uh, the hours are the same as the museum, so whenever the museum is open, the, the gift shop is open, and that is 11 to 5, Tuesday through Friday, and 11 to 3 on Saturday. Oh, okay. Um, and we have all kinds of little home things. We have little desk stuff that you might want. We have beautiful bags. We have beautiful, you know, vases. We have just a ton of interesting things. Scarves right now. We have a ton of scarves. Um, so you know, it's uh, we're we're running a sale this week. We're gonna we're gonna roll over to fall next week. Bring out all our Halloween things, and um, and the store is got a little bit of something for everybody. And as you talk about the rollover to fall, we get into the holiday spirit, right? And so, is Climber planning on any holiday um, festivities? We always every year have a bonanza of Christmas trees and this year will be no exception. I'm hoping to have between um, 10 and 15 Christmas trees, uh, each covered in different ornaments, some of which are, you know, um, really ornate glass things and some of which are little felted mice. And we have all kinds of fun stuff going on. I have a, a little tree that's got dogs and cats on it. And you know, just a bunch of different things. You can buy one cool thing for a housewarming gift or for you know a special someone, or you can come in and buy a bunch of stuff and do your tree with it. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll usually open up in the first weekend of November. Um, we'll have that ready. And um, usually we open it with a, an event, but of course this year, I don't know that an event is actually gonna happen. We're just gonna have to wait and see what the state allows us to do by then. Wonderful. I'm here with Elise at the Clymer Museum and Gallery. Please join them by coming into the museum and looking at the gallery um, pieces. Also, if you can, support them by shopping local at their gift shop. Thank you, Elise, for joining us. And uh, if you would like to see more Chamber on the Road videos, please check out our Facebook page. Thank you for watching Chamber on the Road. We especially thank our sponsors, Yakima Federal, Kelleher Motor Company, and Evergreen Home Loans.